Now we're going to talk about the use of a right respirometer for doing tidal volumes and other measurements. This is a right respirometer. It has a couple features. One is an on-off switch. You want to make sure that that switch is in the on position. Also a reset switch over here for resetting everything back to zero like that. And we've attached to this a series of one-way valves so that as the patient inhales air to their lungs they exhale it into the respirometer thus preventing them from inhaling any contamination from the spirometer. So when we're doing a tidal volume and using a respirometer you want to make sure you put the spirometer around your neck using the strap so that it doesn't fall and break. These are very sensitive pieces of equipment so always use a uh, a neck strap to hold it from dropping to the floor and simply have the patient put the mouthpiece in their mouth if necessary use nose clips to prevent them from inhaling from their nose or simply using their all fingers to hold their nose so we're going to have the patient breathe spontaneously normal easy breathing and watch the gauge And as the patient breathes, let's reset that, you will see the volume each breath was between 550 and 600. That is the tidal volume. Now, Minute volume is simply having the patient breathe in and out for one full minute. That was only 30 seconds, I'm not going to continue on, but for, for one full minute you'd have the patient continue breathing. If you notice, the, the short, larger dial is your tenths, and the longer, thinner one is your liters. So if we read here, we're 10 liters, that was in 30 seconds, so a full minute would have been probably close to 20 liters per minute. That would measure your minute volume. Notice that when I was doing this, I did not have to take the unit out of my mouth. I could inhale and exhale right through the mouthpiece. When I did the uh, tidal volume, I reset this between each breath so I could get an accurate measurement. of each breath. Big difference between a tidal volume measurement and a minute volume measurement. Now the next measurement we can do is called a vital capacity. That's now, Mr. Jones, what I want to do is measure your maximum, maximum breath size. So what I want you to do will be to take a breath in through here, very big deep breath, and you breathe from this side. And then when your lungs are full, I want you to blow it out and it'll blow onto the spirometer. Not fast, just a medium speed exhalation. Okay? So go ahead and, oh, just a second, let me turn that. Put that in your mouth. Big breath in, suck it deep. Bigger, 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 blow it out. Now push out, push out, keep pushing, 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 pushing. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, going. And let it, good. Take a breath. Okay. 